Good afternoon, education world. My name is Rashad Williams, and I am a student here at Northern Kentucky University, and I am glad to be a part of this great university. Um, I am an education major, specifically history. Um, today I want to talk to you about a book. Um, it's called Letters to a Young Teacher uh, by Jonathan Kozo. And uh, it's really an excellent read, and it um, basically highlights a lot of, uh, you know, things that teachers go through um, on a day-to-day -day basis as far as planning, you know, some of the unexpected things that occur, and just the overall classroom, you know, and uh, what teaching means to so many different people um, in this book. Uh, Jonathan Kozo, as well as other teachers, um, he reads from a bunch of different letters that they've written to him, and he has written to them also. So uh, you get a lot of different um, excellent points and a lot of different perspectives on uh, the education world, and uh, you know, it brings you in depth and close um, to the classroom. So uh, this award-winning book is a great read for any aspiring teacher or teachers. There are many joys and challenges in being a professional educator, some of which are highlighted throughout this text. The three main points that were most significant to myself were classroom management, respect for the students, and being able to adapt quickly and efficiently to different situations. It is very imperative to have the ability to manage your classroom. Often, teachers will be proficient in educate, educating, but are not able to keep order within the classroom. Without order, chaos and confusion will disrupt the learning environment for students. Exhibiting respect for your students is also very important. If the student feels as if you don't respect them, then of course, they probably more than likely will not respect you. Lastly, being able to adapt quickly is one of the key elements in being a successful educator. At any given moment, you never know what could take place. Fire drills, behavior issues, sick children, um, teachers coming to the classroom and pulling, pulling kids for various different reasons. Um, you know, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. So we always have to be prepared uh, to change things up. Um, actually, yesterday, um, I went into an elementary school, and it was interesting to see that I believe that, cla that classroom management is so important because one child is infectious to many other children. Um, just by them behaving improperly and you know just being disorderly, a lot of the other kids can feed into it, and now the whole class is off track, and you have to spend 10, 15 minutes of your lesson time, you know, dealing with these behavioral issues. So that is very key, because I don't think if you get past that, you can't even teach. So, I mean, I, that's why I feel as if that is very, very important. But um, these are a few key concepts um, that I gathered from uh, reading the text, and uh, hopefully through my quick synopsis, you'll be able to get a better understanding of what letters to a teacher is all about. Thank you for your time.